everyone, I'm Jet from GC Kids, and welcome to Batman 101. Now, let's talk about Batman. You might not fly like Superman or have super speed like the Flash, but Batman is intelligent and determined, which helps him stay one step ahead at all times. Do you want to start thinking like the Dark Knight himself? Well, in this Batman 101 episode, I'm going to show you how. So, let's kick things off with a classic Cape Crusader moment from Batman the Brave and the Bold, where Batman uses his wits to outsmart a powerful opponent. What are you up to? I've had enough. I'd rather end things here and now than exist as the plaything of some all-powerful brat. But you can't just lie down and die. You're a hero. You're Batman. Well, since you know so much about me, why don't you be Batman? Me? That's nuts. I can't be Batman. Can I? You have the power. Go on, turn yourself into Batman. But I couldn't. I mean, I've only watched you from afar. I never dreamed I could actually be... Really? Like you told Calendar Man. Live the dream, Big Shot. Yes! I'll do it! Now follow my voice and do exactly as I say. It's nighttime in Gotham City. Sirens wail in an alley. A cape figure lands on a rooftop. This is awesome sauce! Yeah. Suddenly, an alarm rings out at the Science Museum. It's Gorilla Grodd. He's stolen an experimental weapon that will enhance his mind control powers. Stop him, Batman. You must fight him on his own terms. Right! No, I meant outthink him. Grodd considers himself a genius first, and an ape second. I'm thinking, I'm sure there's some clever gizmo in my utility belt I can use. Gotta be something! Irony, good. Um. Mr. Polka Dot, the Polka Dot Man! Tweedledee and Tweedledum! Killer Moth! Mr. Zero! Kite Man! And Zebra Man! You're all going down! Ah, crumbs. Don't run. Gather your wits. Confront your enemies. I can't. My imagination is running away with me. Ah! Okay, so as Batmite just discovered, being Batman is a lot harder than it looks. That's why today I'm giving you a lowdown of what makes Batman awesome, so you can start thinking like the Cape Crusader yourself. I've accessed police files on the Goth Corp raids. These are the stolen objects. They don't look like much alone, but in this configuration, My word. Number one, be patient. One of Batman's defining character traits is that he's very patient. He never rushes into things. He always thinks first and waits for the perfect moment to act. I know that's something I'd like to get better at, but I just can't wait to tell you all these Batman tips. Number two, use your surroundings. 
Batman can use almost anything around him to help defeat bad guys or crack a hard case. Being the world's greatest detective means being aware of your surroundings and resourceful in times of need. So, always be aware of what's around you. Hey, you might find something useful. Strange. There are so many good examples of Batman doing this. Here's a clip from Batman the Animated Series where Batman uses his surroundings to find some helpful clues. Come here, you. Call the police. Calling Detective Bullock. Calling Detective Bullock. Yeah. The Batman's been sighted breaking into Phoenix Labs. Thought you'd be interested. I want my squad there, backed by choppers and as many officers as you can get now. You're mine. Wow, would you have noticed all those clues? Batman is quick thinking, patient, and so clever. Want some more tips on how you can follow in his footsteps? Number three, plan ahead. Batman is always thinking one step ahead of his enemies. The emitter has a unique kryptonite radiation signature. I should be able to track it with our satellite. Well, that's clever thinking. Let's give Batman three cheers. Please don't. Hip, hip, hip hooray! He takes the time to think about how they might escape or any tricks they may have up their sleeves. Then he prepares. He plans, strategizes, and always makes sure he has a backup plan in case things go south. So whether you're packing extra supplies for a hiking trip or making sure you have everything you need the night before school, be like Batman and plan ahead. Number four, always put others first. Okay guys, this is the most important part of who Batman is. If we wanna think like Batman, we should always put others first. The whole reason Bruce Wayne became a superhero was so that he could help people and deliver justice. So Batman is always putting others' needs before his own. He's so considerate. Sometimes that means going out of his way to do the right thing, and sometimes that means sacrificing his own safety to protect innocent lives like in this scene from Justice League.
Lucky I found this one, but he's not doing well. I'll get him to a hospital. Batman! You were right. It was a renegade Amazon. I know. I just couldn't believe that one of my sisters could actually... Now that's what I call putting others first. Batman is the man! Can't wait to get out there and start thinking like my favorite superhero. Now, I just need a cool cape. Thanks for watching everyone, and you can check out Cape Chris Saturdays every week for more Batman content here on the DC Kids channel. All animated episodes featured in this video are available for digital download with Warner Home Entertainment. Catch you later!